I do believe I just found the Costco equivalent in Thailand macro oh my god let's go see if they find what let's go see if they have weird things what happened in my brain Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all the giant boxes. So this is where you get your bulk stuff in Thailand. What are those? What are those? Dry bitter orange flavored syrup. That has to be good for you. There's your Bertoli. Is that the crap? Is that stuff shit? I know there's a bunch of olive oil brands that are like sketchy. And it's half and half like canola oil. It's like, we tricked you. <laughs> that should be banished from Earth. That should not be allowed. What the hell are we doing? We should be working together. If you like ketchup and you want to just pour it down your throat in gallon amounts, we got that. 239 baht. So here we have your spaghetti squid ink. That's your, your squid ink spaghetti. It's good for you. It's basically squid milk. Suitable for vegetarians who want to milk squid for the black milk. It's good for vegans. They don't even get squid ink for. If you don't eat ink, your joints will get arthritis. The ink will lubricate you. You don't even know that. That's stupid. You should be eating this, vegans. I once milked a squid on my farm in a lake. I was swimming and I got hungry when I dove under water. Thankfully a squid was there to offer me to milk him. So I sucked on his ink nipples and he nursed me back to health. I didn't even need air under water cause I had plenty of ink. It's delicious. Okay to save you a long ass story short, up top, we got a whole nother place. I went through it, I found a scale that I wanted. Now we can track our calories. I gotta know how much I'm eating. Finally, I'll be able to know. Five kilogram allowance. Hopefully that's enough. We got like giant bags of cucumbers. Holy shit. 135 baht, roughly. It's moldy, but that's okay. Look at these tomatoes. Five kilogram bag for it doesn't say. That's a good deal. Oh, I found the green lamb duck mice. They're unripe, but not poisoned. Look at the size of the squashes out here. I can't even lift it. It's the awkward shape. It's not my strength that I lack. I, mean, I could lift it. They got like eight different kinds of watermelons here. These are the yellow ones. These are African ones. Oh, they're seedless. You piece of shit. And these, what are those? Honey do? Honey to you? It's a sun lady cantaloupe. Or a cantaloupe. It's a cantaloupe. They're gonna get one. Look at that, a kilogram of cherries. $8.99 bought. Oh my God. Some things are crazy. Is that right? These kiwis are 1290 bought. That can't be right. There's no way that's right. But strawberries, little Korean strawberries, 138 bought. What? These ones are even more, 279 bought. Oh my, oh, oh no. I've never seen a freaking wet, dead frog. This is so disgusting.
There's your pig intestine 17. She's getting lots of it. She's not deficient like I am. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know. Oh my. <laughs> oh, I go this way. <laughs> uh, this looks like just pure fat for lard. This is where Kent gets his lard. For the Kent Lard Cafe. Look how fat that stuff is. It's like ground beef, but like 90% fat. Oh my god. Here's some nice noodles. Got some nice noodles. Oh no, it's pork skin anus gland foliage. That's what that is. What the hell, man? This is the brand I used to get. It was in little bottles in some shop. I looked at the ingredients. There was nothing but good stuff in here. Yet on the big one, you see at the very end here, INS211. I don't know what it is, but it's like a preservative, I imagine. And it wasn't on the bottle when I bought it. It was hidden. Damn you, Tyler. Spirulina noodles. Holy shit, the Japanese have thought of everything. Here you were making noodles without pond scum, you loser. There's not enough protein in noodles, you need spirulina noodles. These actually look really yummy, I want them. 90 baht. Are you hungry? Trying to lose weight? Why not get a bag of Nanta? Pig powder. <laughs> See the feet up here? It's like, no standing up here, children. How dare you. Look at this, frozen silkworms. What? There's frozen small frogs, silkworms, and those things. What is that? Is that a... Don't even tell me that's a cockroach. Are those cockroaches? Those are cockroaches. What else would it be? Oh my god. The worms. Those, those look pretty good. There's your frozen boar meat. You need boar tusk 15. It's an amino acid. It's an essential one. Vegans don't even get it. <laughs> they have all these grades of eggs. Grade 4, 3, 2, and 1. It's like, what? what's the fourth egg? It's like, these are fourth level eggs. They were raised in sewers. They were fed mealworms. They're delicious, we promise. Look at these preserved eggs. Even looking inside, it just, that doesn't look good. The white is brown and the yellow is gray. But you get 30 of them. So that's a good deal. Depending on what happens after the fruit fast, if I go back to beans, 180 baht for 500 grams times six. So that's five. Seventy pounds of fish. Giant things of rice, fifteen kilograms for like two hundred baht. Some of them get more pricey. I would look for a basmati, personally. Oh my god! Look at the size of that one. Forty-eight kilograms. Seven twenty baht. The cool thing about this place, compared to Costco, you don't need a membership. You just show up, ask for a day pass, and you're good to go. Here's your wood ear fungus. Now, it sounds appetizing, just with the name. I mean, ear fungus alone, that's, that's you're good to go. Whenever I see fungus somewhere, I, I wanna lick it. 
I know, it's just a type of mushroom. Shut up. There's a Todd lady in her pajamas over there. Look at that. They wear pajamas here in Thailand. It's just a grocery store. You don't have to get all dressed up. It's just a grocery store. I want to be comfortable everywhere I go. And you ain't gonna stop me. Frozen berries are actually pretty cheap here. That's pretty cool. You can get a whole box of these things. Like 10,000 grams. 10 kilograms. For... Nah, I didn't check the price of that. But yeah, go fuck yourself. But 175 baht for one kilogram of frozen raspberries. That's pretty damn good. I would get a bunch of them, but then that means I gotta plug in my fridge again. I like saving my 250 baht a month and having no fridge. So I'd have to de it and eat the whole bag in one day, which I could do. I might do that. I will do it. I forgot you have to weigh all this stuff at this counter up here. I'm standing in line like an idiot. Here's a thousand grams of walnuts, 549 baht. I can't tell if that's a good deal or not. It seems expensive. Pecans, 429. Macadamia nuts, oh my, 439. So I could do my high fat diet here. Almonds, 375. All right, so that ended up costing me 1359 baht. I don't know if that was good or not, but the scale itself was like 879. So, all that stuff, you can see it. You can see it, I got quite a bit of fruit. Put back the silkworms for now. Another day maybe on that one. So, I think we're done here for today. Just wanted to show you macro. I would definitely come back for some bulk stuff, especially if I start eating like rice and beans and stuff. Boom, come here. And upstairs they have a bunch of rice cookers and stuff. Probably get that, still haven't found a pressure cooker. It's impossible. We live and learn here in Thailand. So thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. It's getting disappointing, really, that you would do this, but thumbs down. If you trained a pigeon to lick you. So, what? There's, there's a funny bird. Come closer, bird. He's doing funny stuff. Whoa, look how close the plane comes. Okay, we're done here. Just a quick video today. Thanks for watching it. We did that. Subscribe more videos get yourself a donkey bitch shirt you can be a donkey bitch i believe in you so we're done subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next one